Hi everyone, Miss Heather here. For today's class, we're going to be doing an engineering challenge. And we're going to be using some marshmallows and spaghetti. First off, let's figure out what is engineering. Engineering is designing or building structures like houses, schools, bridges, and skyscrapers. I want to see if you guys can build using spaghetti and marshmallows and maybe some toothpicks too. A nice tall structure that can hold weight. Before we get started, we got to think about how we're going to build our structure and the forces acting on it. There's a force that's pulling everything down on earth. That's called gravity. So when we're building anything, we want to make sure that we have a nice strong base so our buildings don't fall over. Next thing you have to think about is other forces. If your building was to be outside, you would have wind as a force to worry about. So as you're building, you want to make sure that your building has lots of good support bars in it and it won't fall over. Let's get started. So I'm gonna get started and I have some toothpicks and I'm gonna start with those to make a nice strong base. I'm gonna make a square for the bottom. And you'll see it's a little wobbly and wiggly. So what I need to do is, I need to add some support, support beans in here. I will take a piece of spaghetti and I wanna measure it and carefully cut it without making a mess. I break it in half so it fits. So that made it a little bit less wobbly. I think I need one on the other side. I don't know if you guys know this, but the strongest shape in building is a triangle. So if your building has lots of triangles, one, two, three, four, such as this, it will be stronger and more stable so then you can add on and make it bigger. Now I'm gonna keep going with the toothpicks. and it's pretty easy and fun. You could also, if you use um, gumdrops or jelly beans, if you don't have marshmallows. So now I have a basic cube. The bottom is nice and strong, but you can see the walls and the roof are wobbly. So again, I'm going to take a piece of spaghetti and measure it and break it with my fingernails to now, I, now I've divided it up and I've added a support beam, a crossbar, so it's a little stronger on that side. I'm going to continue to do this for the rest of the sides. I have a sort of tall little structure here and that what I, it seems to be sturdy and standing up okay I can continue to add crossbars using the spaghetti you guys can also get very creative in your shape that you make you can start with a cube and then build out on the sides make it bigger you can turn it into a castle, or whatever you like. You could even challenge mom and dad and see what kind of buildings they would make. Now, 
I want to see if it will support some weight because real buildings have to get tested and be able to support cars and people and stores and things like that. So I have some little plastic plates. You could also use DVDs to test as well. And I just want to see if this will hold any weight. I might have to make it a little bit stronger. Oh, <laughs> it's crashing. So Miss Heather has to go back and then rework some sides because I see some wiggliness here. So guys, this was my finished building. Let's test it now and see if I've made any improvements to the strength and durability of it. better. It's holding three plates. Will it hold four? Maybe. I think four is the max. I want you guys to have fun with this and see what kind of cool buildings you can make. Um, maybe you can even do a few. You can do like a house or a building and then make a little swing set, playground, and if you have enough marshmallows, you can even make little people. Thanks so much, have a great day. For Science in the News today, Australian scientists discover a massive deep sea predator that looks like silly string. On March 16th, 2020, researchers aboard the Schmidt Ocean Institute's ship stumbled upon a beautiful giant apolemia, which is a type of siphonophore in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Western Australia. The scientists are not sure of the exact length of this silly string-like creature, which was found at a depth of 2,000 feet. But based on the measurement of its outer ring by a drone, they estimate it was at least 150 feet long. We think it's the longest animal ever recorded to date, said Dr. Carly Weiner of the Marine Communications at the Institute. Siphonophores, which are related to jellyfish, are deep sea predators that prey on tiny crustaceans and fish using the vast array of stinging cells on their tentacles. Though they appear as a single organism, every specimen is a gelatinous colony made up of thousands of individuals each fulfilling a special function. Some are responsible for catching prey and others are charged with distributing the nutrients throughout the colony. This find is significant because siphonophores are fragile and hard to find. According to Dr. Rebecca Helm, she has gone on numerous expeditions and have never ever seen anything like this. This animal is massive and it's exhibiting stunning behavior. It's hunting. The, the researcher who specializes in the evolution and development of jellyfish speculates that because it takes a long time for life to grow in the near freezing deep sea temperatures, this creature could be tens or possibly hundreds of years old.